Hi, Sherry. I am just getting things set up. Hold on me a couple of minutes. It might be. Just have a look down the bottom. Do the points, options and everything show for you? So today... I'm going to be carrying on with Flemington and see if we can't get it to three stars. Because this is the rich turn, so we can rip everybody off and have fun doing it. Yeah, it's showing. <laughs> This is where we were with, with Flemington. Not yet. You can wait. Come on. Ah, for now. I'll be getting new emotes and things like that soon. And it'll unlock for everybody after a while. So. That's the pans lab. That's the... <gasps> Manu! Hello darling. Manu, you're my first ever subscriber. Did you recognise the notification sound as well? <laughs> okay, we have Bill's face at the moment. We're getting some new emotes from the same guy who did yours, Manu. He's working on them at the moment. They should be ready on one day. So what am I missing? Oh yeah. This. And uh, it was uh, when Alex did his Christmas stream, Sherry. At the end of his Christmas stream, where all the money people had paid and everything to try and force him into a certain tattoo, he um, donated to charity. So we smashed the goal on it. And yeah, I'm going to leave camera on for now. Just for now. So yeah, I've got to decide on the next charity at some point. But until then, we'll stick around with points and stuff. So what do I need at the moment? We've got psychiatry, we've got more GP rooms. Got our little marketing. Need to start a new marketing campaign actually, let's go for a big one. 
Um, and animal magnetism was meant to be the thing that we were good at, so go for a big campaign. Uh, well, Kelly has been trying to say that she should be the next charity so we can get her a PC. Which is tempting actually, I'm tempted to make like a... My sister is a peasant and needs a PC goal. Right. What was the room I was waiting for now? I've completely forgotten. You throw me off. Oh yeah, I need a lightheadedness room. So I need... A new building. The one over here, you're 50. You're 60. We'll get the 50 grand one. <laughs> new illness, crossbones discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, crossbones. Skeletal rage, sometimes triggered by piracy, requires a fracture ward. We'll send the patient for treatment in our fracture ward. So luckily we've already got one of those. Oh, we've got so many people waiting. Oh, it's because he's repairing it. Look how busy it's getting near now. He looks clinic. Yeah, you can wait. I'm just waiting for this new building. I'll probably do with another doctor as well, if we've got any decent ones available. Yeah, I'll get Kelly to start charging for photos of Luna. <laughs> um, nasty. Angry and boring. Angry Tylus and Littera. Green Fingers are romantic. Charming. You're a psychiatrist as well, aren't you? And you're radiology research and GP. We'll get this one. We'll just ban her from research. You are not to do research. This is Two Point Radio, and I am Nigel Bickleworth at your service. Neither are you. And so we begin another of our shows with a little something I like to call music. So what do we need? We're going to get a reputation of 80%. We've already got the 2 million value. We need 20 patients secured and a fracture ward, and we need two marketing campaigns. So, first of all, got reception, got four of those. What rooms are we missing apart from? Oh, we can make a cafe now. I might make a cafe. So, fluid analysis. X-ray, Mega Scan Deluxe. We've got a Patterns Lab. We've got. We've not got Clown. So we'll go for a Deluxe Clinic because we need one. Put you on this side. It might be delayed. It's been like Mellow's been playing up a bit lately. I know Alex has been looking at it. But I think he's found or finding something as a replacement for it instead. Smell it! Hey, you can do if you want, if it's still not posted anything. Mm. 
need to remember radiators because this is the Well, or it's just being a pain at the moment, is what he's doing. Um, what else can I put in here to improve it a bit? Oh yeah. Giggle bump. Oh, we've got a deluxe room. Yeah, that's alright. Health Minister coming, and we'll promote that guy. Oh, Mello is now behaving, he's just posted it, literally. Is there any more hideous space in all this? Um, what else do we need? Toxic waste. I need a clown clinic, don't we? When I was a lad, it was merely a waste. You're four by four. That's progress for you. The health minister is arriving. Yeah, we'll put him on this side. How big is that? That's five by three, so it's an awkward area anyway. So there. because I keep forgetting those. Maintenance needed in research. There we go. Research complete. We need some more research putting in then. What shall we do next? Pest control, trauma therapy, injection room. Hi, Brina. How are you doing? You feeling better? these haven't we? Fluid analysis, x-ray, mega scan. Why is this all awkward sized areas? I'm probably behind as well because I've not done anything since before Christmas. I've done like a few um, what's it called like campaign stuff what am I doing you don't go there Mega scan and x ray, I need, and they're both 4x4. Four four. It's all awkward sized. What? Crockle Basin. Almost no visitor fatalities for two and a half minutes. Kelly! This is Two Point Radio. Gifting subs to everybody. So Sherry's got one, Brina's got one. My bot got one for some reason. 
Wayne got one, Abby got one as well. Yeah, that's just dumb. There should be some way of excluding it. Yeah, I was saying to Sherry earlier, we're getting some proper, like, actual emotes sorted. The same guy who did that mellow emote is doing them at the moment. So I'm just waiting for them to be done, and then I'll get them uploaded and everything. going to be based off this guy my emotional support teddy for phasmophobia and stuff and I will get a proper bill emote done as well Struggling to think now. Um, yeah. Doctor's GP's office. In today's guide to good manners, we shall discuss the making of telephone calls, particularly ones made to radio stations. Firstly, do not shout. Speak in a calm, clear voice. Preferably in a voice you would deem too posh for everyday conversation. It does. Says, um... And be polite at all times. Also... You're all right, Manu. You don't have to. Quickly hang up. That is the height of goodness. Yeah, that little... thingy next to your name. Or did you just give someone not actually sub yourself? Yeah, you did. Doctor needed in psychiatry. <laughs> you didn't. Right, I'll sort that now then. If you sub yourself, you'll get the founder's badge, like the first badge, like man who's got. But you'll like have to do it yourself. Because if I gift it, you won't get one. <laughs> there we go, so we've got 
Phillips room. <gasps> now it seems to have worked. There we go, now it's you've subscribed. <laughs> there you go, now you got the Billy Mort as well. of music a wonderful example of non-diatonic counterpoint stay tuned for more groundbreaking compositions <laughs> yeah, well, we'll stop editing this room and see what rewards we get. First up, we have Rising Star Ghost to Holistics. Boy of the year is Oz. Rubbish. We were never going to get no deaths anyway. No chance. Have uh, best teaching goes to Jumbo Mega Corp. That's rubbish. Patient's choice goes to us though. Most prestigious goes to Bungle, it's rubbish. Best research goes to us though. Uh, Hospital of the Year. Rubbish. We only got three, but we still got some decent rewards for it. Right. Award, Need to make this area pretty and sort out some training. So, training first. There. Um, what courses do we have? Maintenance, ghost capture. Train some doctors up. Assistance consultant courses. We'll get you into radiology. Along with a couple of the others. So you would be 120%, you're 160. There. I think we need to advertise the fracture ward yet. Uh, these people here need radiators and stuff, so one large radiator should cover most of this. There. I'll put another one over here by the door. Sorted. Right. Now we need. Pants, make it pretty, or try to at least. And now, Sir Nigel reviews. 
This time, looking at the new bakery in Crockenbush, Do Re Mi. It has a breathtaking selection of musically inspired pastries, such as the strumming strudel and the cacophonous cake. I awarded four maracarons. Ha! <laughs> So you are trying to build a hospital and there's certain requirements for each one. So this one is in the rich people area and we are trying to rip everybody off. So everything is really expensive and we're doing like marketing campaigns to advertise the hospital. Yeah, Bart is a little bitch. And she doesn't have it yet, Brina, because I didn't have her Steam name to gift it. I still need to get that, then she'll get it. Yeah, what we need to do, Brina, is have that points reward on every channel. So that way Bart has no escape. <laughs> yeah, right, Brina. We're brought to you by Politas two in one shoe polish and frying oil. Serving two point county. This is two. Point Radio. it is. Hi Bonnie. Doctor needed in psychiatry. I messed up the warmth. No, I haven't. They're all fine still.
Now, if it was Sherry's mum, I might actually feel sorry for her. But she isn't, so she's fine. Thank you, Bart. We've not actually seen some of these new machines in action yet. We need to do that. And we needed a couple more assistants to hire. Um, you are good. You can work in there. You are good. You can also work in the cafe. So we have our fancy new x-ray machine and the fancy new mega scanner. Have we got anybody waiting? Yeah, we've got a bunch of people waiting for the mega scanner. And a couple of people waiting for the x-ray. Just ignore the sound of people dying. Fracting campaign's almost done. I need to switch that for Fracture Ward next. Why do I have so few nurses? Are they all hiding on breaks or something? Yeah, I need to get a couple more so they can rotate in and out. I'm going to get that Noita game as well, Brina, that you suggested. So I saw Div Gem playing it again, like early this morning, like last night. It looks like great fun. So I will be getting that at some point. I was going to hire more nurses, wasn't I? So. Roncalm doesn't speak Spanish, but they're good at treatment, and the ward will have you. High energy, but the short temper. Grumpy will have you, because you're positive. <sighs> Brina wants everything. Get another doctor as well, so we've got ten of each. And we've got seven assistants now. And we'll stick the Fracture Ward campaign on. So, Fracture, whack it all the way up. I visited a sick friend who has taken the foolish decision to check himself into one of Holistic's nature communes. Call me old fashioned, but patients are supposed to be treated by doctors in hospitals, not have leaves rubbed on them by druids.
I don't think you can get away with streaming it, Brina. Maybe in Discord like the rest of us. So I've done the two marketing campaigns. We need more people in the fracture ward and we just need reputation as well now. So make the place a little bit prettier. Pretty much all we can do at this point. Yeah, poor Alex. Couldn't have scammed out of money. He got told as well that like he had to buy the DLC to 100% all the achievements on it. Well, I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 3 anyway because I lost a bet with Scott at work over how many tickets we could close. So, you sure, Brina? Could do the other one as well. Today, I would like to introduce a new segment which I call <laughs> Points of View. In it, I will give you. Two yeah, the the plan is once I'm done with, so, example, uh, deliver us the moon, which shouldn't be that long. Apparently, it's not that long again. Hi, Alex. This segment is an embarrassing waste of time. But yeah, the plan is, once Deliver Us the Moon is done, I will be starting my Dark Souls 1 run. And the stipulations that Scott gave me is that I am not allowed to use any miracles or any magic. So it's just going to be like melee, basically. So I'm tempted to go for like a Probably a parry build, just for the hell of it. Oh no, he's uh, he's already mentioned pyromancy as well. No pyromancy, no miracles, no sorcery of any kind, purely physical. So at some point, Two Point Hospital might get replaced as well, but I've not decided when yet. And I might replace that with the spooky game. Hi, Sex!
Yeah, we could do that. And we could do that as well. Patients are always dying, Sherry. It just happens. Um, who can we train with diagnostics to? You, you, you'll do. <laughs> So mean, Brina. Hello, hello, hello. Ricky Hawthorne is back on Two Point Radio. I hope you've missed me as much as I've missed you. I'm just going to go around and overhead all these machines while I can afford it. Don't say that, Sherry. It's true. Like the moment she sees the first Tabrina streams, you'll get abandoned. We've got it. Reputation's 83%. We just need the fracture ward cures now. Yeah, it's the, the sensible thing to do is to uh, just drop Sherry as quickly as you can. I did find his name at one point and then promptly forgot it. It was when he posted about that Facebook group, I found the Facebook group and then his messages got deleted so I didn't see them. They were there for about a minute and I forgot to memorise it. Why are all these plants dying? What happened to my janitor who's only allowed to water things? Staff. Right. You can now also only clean and water things. Kind of song I like to listen to when I'm out jogging every morning. 
I like to run down lower bullocks as fast as I can until I fall to the ground. Good thing there's a few hospitals nearby. Staff. Who needs training? Janitors do. Assistants. Nurses. Doctors are alright. Could probably do with some more GP training. We even got any available? We do. Kelly's the first one to do it. Right. See if I can remember how to pronounce it properly. I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation now. But it's. Lanvaya pochwin gich go gech win grobo lanticilio go go go. There. I've probably butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> it, because she did gift sub sherry. You get money for diff, uh, you get more points for gift subs and things like that. All about pay to win sherry. Three out of six. Oh, that's not bad. See, now we're starting to get bigger queues. This is where it all goes a bit hectic. Whoa! So we'll go fix the scanner. We've got somebody queue with the x ray machine. We do. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, I'm waiting for one of my mates from Wales to uh, join the stream and just take the piss out of my pronunciation. Right, Dave. General practice training is done. Yeah, notifications are a bit weird on mine. Like, I've got Twitch on my phone. But, occasionally it will just not tell me people are online. Um... How many other doctors have training slots? Just you two. Train you up. Make you a better GP. There. It's <gasps> alright, there's some person who plays it regularly I've watched before, Sherry. And they get like two, three hundred viewers each time they do. It's crazy. Why not rinse yourself out by drinking swill? Right, we still need those fracture ward cures. Marketing stills going. Is there actually a cue for it? There is, but it's tiny. This is two point radio. Oh yeah, uh, which one of these do we want to upgrade? We'll upgrade the Mega Scan. Uh, 
Hi, Beth. So, we win any this time. We got Rising Star. We got Employer of the Year. We'll just skip this next one, it's not important. See? Not important at all. Then we have... See, we got Best Teaching Hospital. <sighs> Beth got gifted a sob. Dave got gifted a sob. Everybody's getting sobs. We've got Patient's Choice. We're going to get Most Prestigious. We've got Most Prestigious. We've got Best Research. We're going to get Hospital of the Year. And we got Hospital of the Year, so we got all the awards apart from the one that doesn't matter. See, that one does not matter at all. Everything else, important. You go away. So we still just need those Fracture Ward Cures. Back over a million in cash though. Watch what happens in the scanner room. I don't think we will watch the animation for this one yet. That one's not as interesting as the others. X Mary Machine is about to explode. What about bloody janitors doing? Where are they all? Experimental treatment centers this morning after the cybernetic doctors experienced a malfunction and started performing autopsies on all patients. You can be a doctor, Alex. Um, where is our staff list gone? So here is our list of doctors at the moment. We've got Robert, who is our main researcher. Maya, who's one of our GPs, Denise, who's another one of our researchers, a bit of an all-rounder. Dr. Egg. Right, I tell you what, we'll give one of the highly qualified ones, can be Alex. Alex the researcher. So Attention. Oh, anyway, Dr. Love. There. So Alex is our head researcher with all of his matrix screens. And his room purely heated by servers.
there. Put it in disguise as well. And then you were actually next up for training. Sure you were. There, research three. And then You're right, Dave. Right, we'll start adding people in. So we need Bart. There is Bart. I will make Bart. Bart can be a penguin. There. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little less <laughs> effervescent than usual today. It was a bit of a we'll have... in the Hawthorne household. And I'm afraid I Psychiatrist can be Dr. Manu. Spaniel Federico woke me up in a fit of barking. And when I went to fetch him a bowl of baked beans, and Manu can be dressed me. as a bit of a commotion outside. Seven police cars, two ambulances, and the remains of what I believe was a wizard. A street gang fight. Not a so Manu is a wizard. Let me tell you, still all those blue and red lights suddenly did give the street a festive look, and I'm happy to say <gasps> Is Sherry supposed to be practicing? Is he skiving again? Kelly can be a fish. There. Um, who else do we have? We'll have Cheryl, the cleaner. There we go. It looks just like him. Um, yeah, Saturday night D and D will be coming on. It was my last stream, Wayne. I got it. Yeah, you're a Cheryl now. Yeah, I took a break. Like I did my last stream before Christmas went. And decided to take a break from then. So like, between then and now I've not done much. I've just dicked around. Um, which one of these nurses has the highest kill count? Deaths zero. Wayne, wow. At it again, Wayne, the nicest guy in our entire community. So he's gifted a sub to Beth, to Bunny Mama, saxophonist to Div Gen, to Laughing Links, to Willow Briar, to Truer, to Maeve, coffee for dinner, and for Dragon Kitten to Katie as well. Wow. Thanks, Wade. You're crazy. 
Raiden has been gifting subs to like every channel. He's nuts. Quick warning for the sweaty palms area, or as the hotels like to tell the tourists, it's time to look forward to another bouncy ground fun time. Enjoy your stay. I don't have any sounds set up yet, Wayne, but I will get one set up just for you. So we have a nurse, Beth. Um, who else do we need to add in? I don't think I'll play Shovel Knight. Hollow Knight, however. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, Dark Souls is the next thing on the list. Dark Souls 1. I get sponsored to play it I might play Fortnite otherwise no oh no what happened the auto mod must have caught him Dave, if I play it, then you have to as well. We will do it as a group of four. Be you, Paige, Amelia, and me. Mortimer, Mortimer, you've just won another Grand Point final. How do you do it? Well, I couldn't do it without my cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. The answer to every question. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. <laughs> Brina is calling for a group. You had a look at the um, vault yet, Brina? What have you managed to get anything from it? Well, like I got best in slot trinket out of it last week. Whoa! attention ghost yeah we need more janitors I'm just gonna get a bunch more good janitors wants more money stupid no, 
dull and a litterer, no. Grumpy, but has potential. Yeah, you'll do. Uh, short temper, no. Grumpy, no. Uh, we'll get dull and a litterer. Oh yeah, Brina, Torghast has been nerfed into the ground as well. It's a piece of piss now. But I struggled with a couple of them last time. And I jumped in and did this, went straight to the rank 8 ones this week and did them no problem. Like, it's a lot more forgiving with the... Um, the perks it gives you. Fracture. Yeah, we two people you'll flatten it. Like one person you'll get stuck. Maybe if you get a shit run of perks on it. But like I got a crazy one earlier where I could mind control the more rats. Every time I mind controlled one, it spawned five weaker more rats near it. And then whenever I killed a more rat, it exploded with the unholy infusion from a covenant. And the unholy infusion, as well as doing damage, also heals me. So I was basically invincible. I was just mind controlling more rats all over, spawning hundreds of them. Like I got one that. For every six seconds I didn't use a self-heal, it increased the healing on it 100%. And then any healing I did got added on as damage to my Mind Blast. So just every now and then I'd take a bit of damage, heal up, and my Mind Blast would one-shot something. But I've seen the disc get ridiculous ones. There's one for disc where you increase your health. Like you get the one for increasing your health for killing more rats. But killing blows with penance, I think it is, also increases your health. And then you can get another perk that increases the power of Power Word Shield as a percentage of your health. And you can stack that one. So I saw somebody on it the other day with something like 80k HP and he was power word shielding himself for about 20k a time. It just gets silly after you manage to get some of the combos together. Do we have any more hires yet? I want. What are we low on? Not low on anything really. Just need to be faster. You're upgraded. You're upgraded. Research. You're upgraded. You're upgraded. You need upgrading. So everything's fully upgraded. I probably just need to train people a bit. Um, what else do I need? Training. We've all got psychiatry one already. Bugger it. So we only need the cures and the fracture ward to meet the two star requirements. You want cure 20 patients. Dumb. 
three more buildings I can buy. I can buy that one. One there. There. <gasps> Alex, subscribing at tier two. You're crazy. You're all crazy. And yeah, there will be, there will actually be tier two emotes at some point. I'm just waiting for them to come in. Gifting subs as well. Uh, I'd switch gifted ones of Laxanthus to Jani to Carmen to Twist and to his own bot or his own other account, I should say. Alison Kettle has sent us her favourite inspirational <laughs> phrase. Love, she says, is the ladle that stirs the soup of life. I use a lady to serve the soup into big bowls, not stir it, but I guess it works both ways. It's alright, Kelly gifted subs earlier and managed to gift one to my bot, so my bot has a sub as well now. Despite the fact that I get infinite points anyway. So we got a psychiatrist trained up. Nurses want training now. What can we train the nurses on? Uh, staff. Could all do with a bit more diagnosis training, to be honest. Um, You don't need it because you're a researcher. 120, 210, right. Doubt anybody's going to be as fast as that. There. We got lots of people waiting for the GPs again, but that's because I've just had them in training. In oh, look, somebody's going into the X ray. Watch the X ray, we've not seen that yet. Flex in front of the X ray. Yeah, it might reduce, reducing prices might help a bit, but this is the rich area. Um, I think I have one for each tier. I'm trying to remember. I will double check, but I think you get like one for tier one, one for tier two, one for tier three. And then I've got set one set up as a a bits thing as well. I think the bits thing might be permanent as well. Actually, I can't remember how it works. But with all the gifted subs and stuff, I might end up with a another slot or two. Actually, I'll have to check.
Point Radio. Oh, I might have two slots then. Welcome to this fate-filled day. You'll join me as a night. Research complete. Mega scanner two. For opening day of the Eight rep for having a nice hospital. And promote three staff. To play the mole men of Smogly. The question on everyone's mind: Who is going to win after all of the band is playing? Join me for whack off. So we will after this. upgrade the mega scanner. I'll stop it breaking as easy. Yeah, I might have my tech second slot unlocked after this stream then. I can bong two of the new emotes in straight away when they arrive. Award season again. Right, we'll just skip to the end of these. Because that one is not important. We're not bothered about that. There we go, we got all of them. Maya Vape got Rising Star, got Employer of the Year, Best Teaching, Patient's Choice, Most Prestigious, Best Research, and Hospital of the Year. And we can ignore that one because it's not important. Remember, this is based off the American healthcare system. Whether you cure them or not doesn't matter as long as they pay you first. Right. Um, staff. We'll get Alex's research three. Still gonna hire more janitors. Because there's still like dead plants and stuff everywhere. Not bother about high salary, like we've got over a million in the bank worth good. two of you who only water plants. So you two. Your jobs are watering plants and nothing else. Oh, and fighting fires just in case. <sighs> Having a modded account. Naughty. Yeah, that PS4 I've got is almost dead now. Like, it struggles to run things anymore. Like, I took it apart and cleaned it, checked the... Um, thingy, heatsink paste and all that. And it still sounds like a jet engine all the time. So I'm just going to have to save and get a PS5, I think. Like, I got that gift from your heart. You made me pay for it. But yeah, uh, got that Ghost of Tsushima for Christmas off me mom. I've played like the first first hour or so, but I got to. About an hour in, where you're in a field full of reeds. And as the wind blows across them, you can see the frames dropping. And the whole thing just stutters. Lies. Lies and slander. I bought her three games. I got her control, but she's been after for ages. 
I got her the Little Hope collection. She's the guys who made, um, I forgot what the game's called now, Until Dawn and all them. And I got her the Spiral collection, Spiral Trilogy. So she got all three of those. Two stars! Congratulations, your hospital's been awarded a two star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. The Foxbridge Homestead resides in the Greater Flemington area, as do much of Foxbridge Clan. It's been a delight to hear so many positive things about your establishment from them all. There's nothing like news straight from the horse's mouth, or the mouth of horse owners rather. Continue building the hospital that Flemington deserves for more awards, or go elsewhere and expand your organisation. So for three stars we need 90% reputation, we're already at 97. Hospital value of 5 million, we can do that, we're already on a million and a half. Cure 30 patients in the injection room and do three marketing campaigns. So. Dr. Love is a level three researcher. Cool. We need you to do Injection room upgrade. And we will do marketing campaigns for the injection room. There. Oh, yeah, and she's getting Spelunky as well, but she wasn't supposed to know she was getting that. It was a surprise once I got her steam and everything sorted out. Oh, you're on the flying ones. I thought you might be stuck chasing the egg, egg thieves or something like that. They always used to take me ages. Oh, someone's done it again. There are toilets everywhere. Look, massive toilets there. Toilets there and they still shit on the floor. Dirty bastards. 24 hours a day. This is two, two, two Point Radio. Ah, uh, you just rage at them because you're bad at games, Beth. This three star should actually be quite easy. Uh, the reputation percentage will get easy enough. The rest of them are just a matter of time. <gasps> Bart, you're a little bitch. Sorry Beth, I was watching a video the other day, uh, one at streamers I watch, and there was a Scottish guy in his group doing the Simon Says one. It took him eight tries to do it. Like, not eight actual inputs. Like, he failed and had to start again eight separate times. He got interrupted by two meetings and one death. And he screwed it up each time. Make you high priority.
and I'm sorry if anybody hates this. There. Sherry redeemed the stretch, so I stretched and then cracked my knuckles. It's open and suddenly still anyone's to play. We made a true quick update on the conditions. Ah, playing surface is holding up nice. Why are adverts appearing? Oh, it's because I left Chrome open, isn't it? Stupid thing. Yeah, it'd be handy, Sherry, but I don't know any yoga poses. <gasps> Look, somebody's finally actually using the cafe. It's one person all on their own. Yeah, you've got no chance getting me doing any of those. I will just stretch in my chair. Not yet, Kelly. She messages me every now and then going, come on my island on Animal Crossing. No, the only Snapchats I get from Mum are when you tend to steal her phone. a bit. Um, do we have a fire extinguisher in here? We do not. We'll put some posters and stuff up.
You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. The first half of the day is in the books, with the other half yet to be written. There's been a little bit of something for everyone so far, although it's unclear if that will last. Lucky for us, it's mostly up for grabs this afternoon. Join me, the return of play, and my looming lunch after this. There we go. Now you have a brain in a jar as well. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, given my mum a bunch of stuff on Animal Crossing already and helped her add a bunch of things to her island. I should be on it more often, really. I keep forgetting. So I come back and all my villagers feel neglected. Oh look, somebody wants their pay increasing. Uh, where is it? Staff. Where's the pay thing gone? everybody mediocre and then whack it up a few percent there we go now everybody's happy and we are easily got enough money to do the rest <laughs> Sax Spanish just noticed his sob. So the plan is Bart, after I'm done with Deliver Us the Moon, I'll be doing Dark Souls 1 on Saturdays. And I'm going to swap Two Point Hospital out for something else every now and then, but I've not decided what yet. Uh, there's a bunch of other games Terrible I could play, but the sloop, as an I have not decided what it is. Appears to be cheese sauce in the press box. I think yes, yes, it's on my leg. I shall decide soon, or I might put it up to a vault or something. Once hopeful young upstart, will she come back from this? In the opinion of this journalist, no. Oh, poor Sherry's grounded already. Staff. Doctors are pretty good. Nurses. Train you all with some treatments. Forty one thirty one eighty. Five. 
yeah, it'll be Dark Souls 1 to start with. I am tempted to do the entire series in order. Because I do have all of them. I think the only one I don't actually own is Demon Souls. And if I get a working PS PlayStation, I'll do Demon Souls and Bloodborne. But I'll just do the Dark Souls game, Dark Souls one first, and see how it goes. Capra Demon I never had much problem with. Um, the first boss I really struggled with on Dark Souls 1 was... Is it the Gaping Dragon I think it's called? I might do Kelly. Yeah, I think the first boss I actually struggled with on Dark Souls 1 was the Gaping Dragon. Like, I wasn't too bad with Taurus Demon and Capra Demon and whoever the other guy is whose name escapes me at the moment. Now, I've already been given my stipulations, Dave. But I'm not allowed to use any pyromancy, any sorcery or any miracles. It's got to be a physical only run. Like first time, like when first time I played it, when me and you were playing it, Dave, I did like a strength cleric, so I bumped up my strength really high and I had miracles and stuff. But I think Dark Souls 2 I did. I think Dark Souls 2 was when I did my sorcerer build. Yeah, it was. Because I got that fire sword from one of the earlier areas and Dark Souls 3 was my big two-handed run because I used the um, great sword from Pontiff Sullivan for most of the game I'll probably give him an, an aneurysm Alex needs training. You need training. Uh, courses. Injection. Along with you two. 140, 130, 130. We'll get a guest in. I will probably ramble on about the story a lot while I play Dark Souls as well. I used to watch all of the Varty video and Epic Name Bro videos and things like that. It's like there was a guy as well called. If you ever want a in-depth look into all the items and the artistry behind it and stuff. There's a guy called Plague of Gripes who did a Dark Souls 1. Oh, we've got a new disease. New illness discovered decision rash. An unpleasant rash triggered by when the sufferer is forced to make a decision too quickly. But yeah, uh, Plague of Gripes did uh, a playthrough of Dark Souls 1 examining all the imagery and the like the artistry they used and the themes behind stuff that was really good
Or you can watch Wooly struggle his way through on Two Best Friends channel with Lucky Ted. Six out of seven. We need more marketing qualified assistants. Um, so. So everybody is working. We shall hire a new assistant and make them for marketing only. Green fingers are charming, you will do. Work As in marketing the final chapter of today's play, it's and you can have two people in there. Of the day. Today that honor goes and to Mortimer Pickles. Staff His team assistants. would have not had the requisite number of players without him. And didn't he do it with characteristic grace and flair? You are marketing only and of his you are and today was marketing only. A day where that could be said to have been true. There. I think we still have one of those cupcakes in the fridge, Kelly, if you want it. Right. More trainees. Right, we've got you. And you with open slots. You've already got injection. You've already got injection. Can we train you an injection too? There isn't one, so we will go for treatment. Sixty-five, one ninety-five, ninety-five. There we go. That is if Dad hasn't scoffed it. Put the one in there this morning. Yeah, I still have a couple of light cooking left. I will have to savour them because they will be the last ones I can get until next Christmas. <gasps> the monster. No, I gave you some. These ones are mine. <laughs> Award season. Yeah. Everything but the one that we don't care about. Player of the Year. Annika Stamble's got Rising Char Star. Cool. He should be. I think he said he was starting around half past. So I'll be raiding over to him around then. Oh yeah, Alex is starting around about eight. So yeah, we will raid over to Alex when he is live, but he's not starting until about 8. 
It's been a fantastic day of organic theater here at the Sloop. Join us for day two, or is it... He's always here tomorrow lurking. ...on Two Point Radio. If we're lucky, we'll be another day closer to a result in this year's Grand Point Final. Who are still in his training? So you've got treatments, you've got treatments. Trade. Oh yeah, I should make these ones high priority as well, shouldn't I? There. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty impressed when you got uh, Dark Beast down last week. Or last time you streamed it, whenever it was. Drink gazes, the days are sort of flowing together at the moment. But yeah, Dark Beast is a really tough fight to do early on. Most people come back to it later on. You would know, Dave. Enthusiastic radio DJ. I'm just so excited to be here. Not now. I need to get most of this training done. The better trained people are, the quicker they work. The quicker I'll be able to get all these cues and stuff down. So, no more training slots available for nurses. Um, we'll get Alex with the research for there. Yeah, you know what Katie's like though. Katie would probably enjoy that kind of stuff. But you never know what you're going to find in Katie's anime folders. <laughs> Doctor needed to run X ray machine. 
should have pretty hair, she's a qualified hairdresser. I should show Manu some of Katie's pictures of her nails as well. Like she does a bunch of nail art stuff every now and then. Katie. You like you say her name and she appears. Oh, Katie, have you seen the lamp that my friend Gemma got me? Giant D20 lamp. Yeah, my friend Gemma got me that. Yeah, Katie, we've just been talking about Dave's weird taste in porn. Like all the weird stuff that Dave has. <laughs> I have said that she could dye my hair at some point. Like put streaks in front of it or something. Of course. You can have GP training. With Dr. Manu. Terrible things happen. Not gonna rainbow dye it. I'll have like one or two colours in it or something. <laughs> Thanks for the follow twist. That'll probably be because you got one of the random gifted subs earlier. <laughs> Was that when you did the rainbow underneath on Lucy's? I think I remember but you posting pictures of it. It's weird, look how busy this bit of the hospital is. Look how busy it is over here. And over here, nothing. I 
I will have a nosy at it at some point. As I was saying a couple of minutes ago, I should show Manu some of the nail art stuff that you've done because Manu does nail art as well. It's just pretty cool ones. Doing training, shut up. Got Manu the wizard. Teaching our doctors. Or teaching our doctor. Now we have even more training to do. Doctors have no training slots available, nurses have one. Who is you? And you can have Ward. Yeah, you should see some of the ones Manu's done, like, she's done a couple on stream. She did some, like, RimWorld ones when Brini was doing RimWorld. She did some, like, um, Synthwave-style ones not long ago. Still needs to do some Minecraft ones at some point. It's really cool. Reputation is at 99%, does not be reducing. It is good, Manu. You might not think it's good, but it is. campaign do injection again because we still need stuff for injection and then after that it's just raking the money and that shouldn't be too hard once we've got people fully trained up Yeah, I always think my origami and stuff that I did early on looks rubbish, but I found out the other day that Ashley still has some stash in his room that I gave him at work. Gemma still has some that I did for Elijah stashed in his baby box. Like a bunch of people at work still have some stashed at home as well. Yeah, your pictures are quite good, Kelly. I've still got your uh, the plague doctor you drew me on the wall. Hey, look, Kelly did this for my birthday. I make the camera a bit bigger. There. 
So Kelly drew me this for my birthday. Give me a plague doctor. So that is permanently stashed on, the, on my wall where I've got all my bookshelves and everything as well. You got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. It is really good. Got me a working holiday at Mary Dung Farm for my birthday. I say friend, but I haven't spoken to him since. Anyways, this next song is for anyone who's had to mix up a batch of hog slop. But I still have... The only thing that I've really kept of my origami is... A couple of bits that are stuck to my desk. So I've got... My pterodactyl that I made. When I was learning how to make dinosaurs for my mate's kid. I have the mellow that I made, the cockatoo, and I've got some flowers that I made as well. So these are all flowers that I've made. So I will post some stuff out to people at some point. I am planning to. See, if I hadn't have been rushing around Christmas, I would have actually like ordered stuff to my house and sent some origami and stuff with it. See, only the janitors who need training now. So, doctors are fully trained, nurses. So assistants can do training, janitors. Let's do ghost control. Oh yeah, there's a bunch in my storage box at work, Beth. If they're still there. See, did you hear they lost some people's stuff? But Gemma was super annoyed because there was a bunch of stuff that I had made while I was dicking around at work on my breaks and stuff. And they lost that stupid little cactus plant that I bought her as well. They better not have lost my stuff because there's some stuff that uh, Fiona gave me in there. Yeah, I've got the... So I've got the dragon that Fiona got me. It's like the little beanie baby dragon. I've got the penguin that Andrew Law Riding got me. Um, so they better not have lost my stuff. Yeah, when we all moved out of the office and started working from home and stuff because of covid they did renovations of the building they were they were going to do them anyway but they boxed everything up from our office and put it into storage while they were doing the renovating and they lost some of the boxes one of the boxes had Gemma's stuff in so they better not have lost mine like my little cheat notebook is in there with all me 
notes on different error codes and stuff that aren't documented and things like that. So they better not have lost that because that thing's a gold mine. Right, let's see what we won. Everything apart from the one nobody cares about. Jackie Toff got Rising Star. Three out seven patients, promote. Got the Jab Master, promote you. Go away. Hi, Abby. You need to learn to deal with ghosts. And who else? I'm okay. I am a uh... Slowly, slowly working my way to this three-star hospital. Training up all the staff while I can. It is a lot of fun, Abby. Like, when it gets to bits like this, it's actually really crazy. And you've got to try and manage stuff. So you get all sorts of, like, early on it, early on it can be absolute madness. Plus some of the... Uh, the diseases and stuff it gives you are just really silly. So let's see if I can find some of them. Um, you, what do you have? So he has mood poisoning. Caused by paying too much attention to what other people think. So you'll start off with like an area like this. And you've got a create all the the different rooms for diagnosing people and treating them so you start off with this this is the GP's office and they come here for like an initial diagnosis and for they come out come here at the end as well to confirm what they have and what treatment they need then you have other diagnosis rooms so you've got cardiology like this Yeah, there's zombies and all sorts. I am lucky I've not come across any pandemics yet because they're a pain. But you get this guy. Who has, I think it's called Disco Fever, what he has. And we have, what else? Annoy the dead person. Um. This person who has lightheadedness. Yeah, I would do that here, Katie, but it's the rich area, so they all just pay it. Like, I've jacked up the prices twice already. So we've got this person here who has animal magnetism. Here's how they cure it.
What other patients do we have? Rock bottom, crossbones. There. Uh, Mock star, it was called. From but yeah, you get people turning up dressed up like Freddie Mercury and things like that. You get a. Uh, see, this guy's got animal magnetism. You can see I'm stuck to him. There is a list of illnesses somewhere. Where is it? Oh, illnesses there. So we got potty mouth, mock star. Patients believe themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars the world has ever seen, but they are sadly gaga. You've got night fever, a psychiatric condition leading to spontaneous outbreaks of dancing, caused by prolonged exposure to mirror balls. You have lycanthropy, where they think they're a werewolf. You've got grey anatomy, and they literally turn grey, like this guy over here. This guy has grey anatomy. Yeah. And they just shoot it off and sterilise you to fix it. Or try to, anyway. Um, what? Staff. Staff who need training. So, doctors are still fine. Nurses, you've got a training slot. What should we train you in? Injection. Uh, I'll see if I can catch some of the people being cured. Nobody curing for that yet. Um, don't have anybody for the clown clinic. We've got people waiting for the injection room. Nobody waiting for the pans lab yet. Anybody waiting for lightheaded? No. I bet you I built it and there was only that one guy who ever needed it. Like, hold on, I'll wait there, I will build you a lightheadedness clinic. And then there was literally just him. Right. Injection room. Oh look, seven patients with lightheadedness. They'll be coming in now. Probably on one of these helipads. You can watch them cure lightheadedness. It's fun. Here they are. So these are the emergency patients with lightheadedness. And people with head grabbedness as well. Because they have head grabs. Music's in my blood. The doctor says it's nothing to worry about though. So I'm just gonna keep playing records till someone tells me to stop. Right, where's the doctor gone for that room? There's the doctor. Oh yeah, I've given them all giggle pumps as well, so they all have little, little NOS canisters in their rooms. They can all get laughing gas on demand. And cured. Doctor, 
No, no, no. Head, head lice or nits. Head crabs. Turn you into a zombie. It is literally just making money now. The only requirement I've got left is to make five million. Janitors are all trained on ghosts. Now you can all have stamina drink. <gasps> Alex has redeemed it. Right, so. Attempt number two, see if I can get the pronunciation right. It is Hlanvaya po huin gich goge huin drobo hlantisilio gog ogoch. That abbey is the train station with the longest name in the world. It's a town in Wales, in the UK. I'll try, Alex. Back to the Ricky show. Yeah, it's the... Top -rated I think it's the we second so longest place name program. in the world. So, so I think there's one in New Zealand that's longer. But it means the Church of Mary in the hollow of the, I think it's a white hazel, near the first whirlpool and the church of Tassilia near the red cave. <laughs> yeah, I was showing a bit of it off on stream earlier, Abby, like stuff that I'd made before. I do have a bunch of it on my Instagram as well. Um, do I have the link for it here somewhere? I did. There it is, kiss on towel. Looking out at the pointy mountains the other day, I was inspired to compose a six out of seven patients. Okay. To write it down on, but there was something uh, snow next training we have. Breaking your leg in five places. Doctors and nurses are still good. Janitors. Need more stamina training ones. Assistant, assistant, janitor, janitor, janitor. Doctor required in Deluxe. 
<laughs> Did you not post that? Post that picture of Luna shitting on your bed. You post that in Discord so everybody can see it. Yeah, Luna shit on Kelly's bed this morning. <laughs> we should do another marketing campaign. <laughs> it would not be the worst thing that's been seen on that Discord. VIP visitor or see we are just waiting for the money to roll in now like I'm not bothered about hospital reputation we've maxed that out in fact we have VIP visiting hospital. there you can all play a bit more There are literally so many people in this hospital now that death noise is constant. All I can hear is clang, clang, clang. Not that it makes that much difference. We've got that many people in the hospital. Trouble making ends meet. <laughs> Need some extra dough. Call smell my cash. Hi, Maeve. Because an 80% interest repayment rate is nothing to sniff at. Smell my cash. The desperate solution. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. Have fun at work, Katie. Have fun counting things. I do not miss it at all. <laughs> You guys trained. Next lot. So. Janitor. 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 Oh, you've moved on to that bit, have you? It's been nice and chilled, Maeve. I'm slowly working this hospital up to three stars, but... I've got almost all of it, I just need to rake in the money now. Although it's getting crazy busy now. That's fine, Abby, it's what it's there for. Yeah, poor Katie works the graveyard shift. Although it does make it extra funny when she starts nodding off while we're playing D&D on Saturdays.
Yeah, I know they've got free training slots. That's why I'm spamming training at the moment. <sighs> Was that Alex going live? It looks like it. So... I am going to leave this hospital running while I go and get food because we literally just need the 5 million like the value and then this hospital's done and we will move on to the next hospital next Tuesday but I will be back on Saturday this week and we'll be continuing with the story of Deliver Us the Moon to try and save Earth and restore power and fix the stuff that the shits there decided to sabotage so it'll be Saturday around about half five we'll be continuing that and if we do finish that next game on the list is Dark Souls 1 so I will see you on Saturday but now we will raid our way over to Alex and say hello to Alex playing Bloodborne he's doing pretty well he's uh defeated one of the tougher bosses last week he got a bit lost but he's on his way to the good stuff now so i will see you all soon if you're there on saturday i will see you saturday but thank you for being here everybody thank you for the subs and the gift subs and for watching and for chatting and I will see you all soon.